Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joshua Matthew. If you are old here, thanks. I really appreciate your coming back. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Without wasting of time, let's get started. So this is my Photoshop and the first thing I'm going to file, select new or you press Ctrl plus N. Then I'm going to use a5 paper size in this tutorial then change it to inches over here and your resolution you leave it at 300 for printing then make it cmyk color but for social media design then use rgb color so i'm going to choose this rgb color over here then click on grades all right so now the first thing I'm going to do is to go to my resource file and import this file over here. Then scale it out, drag it up, make it more bigger. All right. Then go to filter, select your blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to make use of 20.8. Then click OK. Something like this and after this one, then I'm going back to my resource file. And I'm going to bring this one. Then scale it out. Position it this way. Then you click OK. I'm going to reduce the size to fit it. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient to over here. Then make sure that this place is black and white. Now I will blend the top here. Something like this is okay. Then after this one, and I'm going to my resource file. And I will import this image over here. Then scale it. Okay. Then go to your blur and here I'm going to input 8.2 Then change the blending mode to overlay Something like this Okay Then go back to your resource file over here, I'm going to import this image. Then scale it out. Okay, apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. And now we blend it like this. Something like this. It's okay because I want this place to appear. So having done this one now, then the next thing I'm going to do is to group it. This is my background. Then I'm going to bring my test. And here is the font I'm going to use. So the first thing I will copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go back to your resource file. And I'm going to import this logo. I'll position it over here. Then come over here. Select your rent angle to. Then you draw a rent angle like this. Then leave it at white color background. Then I'm going to rasterize it. Select your polygon laser to. Then select around here, then come over here. Then I'm going to delete it, then Ctrl plus D to deselect, and you will have something like this. Then apply a drop shadow, increase the opacity to 100% then you can leave this setting like this it's okay not bad then you click ok 
then you have a shadow over here then what i will do i'm going to reduce the wideness hold your shift key then you drag it like this then select your test tool or you press t using your keyboard then ctrl plus v to paste change the font color to black and now reduce the font size then change the align align the text to the right and bring it over here it's okay So now having done this one, I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate this test here. And I'll bring it to this position. Select your test to Ctrl plus A to alight it. And I'll come over here to copy this one. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font color to white. I will increase the font to semi bold. Also, the heading here, I'm going to make it semi bold. You can see the changes now. Then, on this one, I'm going to increase the character spacing. I will leave it like this 660. It's okay. Then, I'm going to copy this effect here. That is the drop shadow. Right click to copy, then click on this one to select it, right click and paste the layer style, then something like this. Now I'm going to align this center, Ctrl plus A to align it, then I'm going to click this one to align this center, then Ctrl plus D to deselect. I will increase the font size a little. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, I will go back to my resource file and over here I'm going to bring my pictures. So for us not to waste time, I have already created this picture so that it will make us fast. Then if you want to know how to arrange this picture here, then check this video that pop ups at the top here then you will know how to arrange a picture like this so now i'm going to import this one so the next thing now i'm going to copy the names then here are the names select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change this align test to the left then close the character space to 0% then I'm going to break it this way then reduce the font size it's okay so now that you have seen the first one here like this so I'm going to fast forward to bring the other names
Alright, so we are done with this one. And our next thing now, then I'm going to select this shape tool. Then select the pen tool. And over here, I'm going to select this color. Click out here, then click outside here. You drag it. Then hold your control key. Then when you arrange it, you arrange it the way you want it to be. Then hold your Alt key. Then select Alt. Then I'll click over here like this and I will join it together. Then something like this. So the next one now, I'm going to duplicate it. Then while you select it, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you can use your arrow key then to drag it down. Now apply white color on this one. Something like this. Okay, then I'm going to my uh, test and I'm going to copy this color code here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So this is the color of this one. So now what I will do now, I will go back to my resource file and I'm going to import this background here. Then scale it out. Go back to your filter blur, Gaussian blur, then 8.2. Okay. And I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. You can see the change changes there. And I will drag it down to this position. I'll drag it down to this position. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. And I will blend the top here. Then on this one now, I'm going to group it. Ctrl plus G to group. So here is the images. Now, the next one now I'm going to do now, then I'm going to draw a cycle. But before then, I'm going to apply my test. Go to your test document, then copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste. Drag it up. Then the font I'm going to use here, you can see the name of the font here. Then go to your test, I mean your font, and here is the font. Scale it out. I will position it at the top here. Then go back to your test document, and I will copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool. Ctrl plus V to paste and I will change the font of this one to Scriptina. Drag it up. Now increase the size. Something like this. You can see here I apply this bold. That is why you can see that this one is more bolder. So when I turn it off, then you can see the differences now. So I will turn it on because I want it to be more bold. Also this one, then I will turn this one off. Ctrl plus A to select all, then apply vertical alignment, then also apply vertical alignment to this one that is to centralize it then ctrl plus d to deselect okay now what i will do now then i'm going to apply a gradient color so this is the gradient overlay color then select your test and i'm going to my blending option now then select gradient overlay so 
the color is here what i will do now is just to click ok then right click and i'm going to copy the layer style then come over here right click and i will paste the layer style so the code is in the test document to make use of it so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to draw a cycle hold your shift key to draw a perfect cycle like this then i'm going to use this color also and here is the color code then the next one now i'm going to draw a rectangle over here i'm going to change the color to white then i'll drag it this way then having done this one now so i'm going to the property then i will turn off the link i'll drag it over here so that i will see what is going to happen over there then drag this one like this and this one then you drag it so this is 122 122 all right so i'm going to leave it this way for now then fix this one something like this all right so what i will do now i'm going to hold my Control key then i'll click on this one then you can see a line there then go to your selects on the menu go to modify select expand then i will expand it by 10 click ok then select the cycle go to your eraser tool then you select eraser then i'll click here click ok and i'm going to clean off this area Ctrl plus D to deselect, then you will see this shape that appear over there. Okay, so what I will do now, I'm going back to my uh, resource file and I will import this calendar icon, then reduce the size. I'll position it over here. Then go back to your resource file, your test document. Then I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then I'm going to change the font to Railway. Then make it bold, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then select this one. Then come over here and make it super script. Position it around the end. And I will change the font color to black. Then over here, I'm going to type another test. drag it over here and I will change the font color to white then this one I'm going to reduce the size and I will position it around here then duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then I'll bring it down select your test tool highlight it go to your test document then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste select this one come over here apply superscript okay so here is the outcome now i uh, will go to this area then select your rent angle i will draw a rent angle around the end So like this then go to your property and i'm going to 
great a shape something like this then go to your drop shadow to apply a shadow over them something like this then i will reduce the opacity it's okay then click ok now i'm going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then i'm going to increase the size of this one to be more bigger then on this one i'm going to change the color to this yellow color here then and i'm going to remove the layer style right click and create a clipping mask so something like this now i'm going to import the time logo reduce the size Now select your test tool, then change the font color to black, then change the font to railway and make it bold, then type time, reduce the font size then position it around here then something like this increase the size okay so after this one now then the next thing i will do now then i will go back and i'm going to copy this one then select your test tool then Ctrl plus V to paste. Reduce the size. Then I will copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then select your test tool. Highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I will position this one around here. And I'm going to increase the size. Then like this. Okay. So the next thing now, I'm going to draw another rent angle. Something like this. Then change the color to this yellow color. Then go to your test document. Then copy your test, select your test tool, then change the color to black, then change the font to railway, then make it bold, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size this way then ctrl plus j to duplicate it select your test to ctrl plus a to alight ctrl plus c to copy ctrl plus v to paste Then I'm going to duplicate this one, then drag it up, bring it down, so I will be a little fast here.
so here we are done with this one the last thing now is to bring the icon for the location before i export the light flare then come over to your test document to copy your address select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then i will change the font to semi bold then reduce the size then i'm going to align it to the right like this then open the space seven is okay now come back to your test here now and i'm going to import this light flare here reduce the size then i'll position it at the center here then change the blending mode to screen Then apply filter blur, Gaussian blur to reduce the blur. Then 6.2 is okay. Now I'm going to apply a layer mask. Then I'll select my brush. Then to clean this place. So here is the design. Then I'm going to group this one. Thank you so much for following. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Then I'm going to background here to show some to show you something. You can see the outcome of it when I turn this one off. Then you can see the changes that appear over here. So between this one and this one, then look at the changes over there so between the two which one do you think is okay then let me know under the comment section thank you so much for watching please remember don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell for more videos and also remember if you want to purchase any of my graphic design then you can go to my father account then the link is in the description below and if you want to optimize your YouTube video, then I have a two-body link in the description below. So you can create your own account, optimize your YouTube channel or any of the channel you have, Facebook or TikTok. Thank you so much.